Good morning, good morning. How is everybody out there? I'm sitting here right here in this place, my office, waiting for you. Are you all okay up there? Come on, come on. I know it's morning time right now. It might be early, it might be noon, it might be evening, but <clears throat> we're all together, okay? So it doesn't matter what time we're, we're tuned in and we're all greeting each other. So, again, my name is Isha, and I'm your host, and I want to share with you all over the world some uh, scriptures, some thoughts, share my heart with you, hold hands with you, so that we can uh, learn them and, and, and just give them to someone else, like I always say, give them to someone else, because, you know, there, there's a lot of people out there that are going through a lot in this world right now. So I want to share with you, once again, I'm going to say, and I, you probably do already, have your pencil and your paper, write them down. Write them down or write that special word, that word that's going to come out and illuminate so that you can walk with it all day and see. Because you know what? You might go to work, go someplace, and you might catch someone that's going through that. The Father will teach you and show you, oh, that girl, that woman, that man, he's going through something. Maybe you can gently give him one word. It'll help him. Okay? So, let's get started this morning, this day. Okay? I'm going to read. And once again, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to introduce Elder uh, Josh Malhara. Right now, he's my helper. He's the one that going with me and he reads for me so that all of us can hear it hear the word that encouraging word from yahuwah to you okay so shall we get started everyone oh come on now you're okay <laughs> elder you ready yes i am okay so uh you know during all this time uh as uh, as the days go on uh like i was saying you can uh, sense and you know that right now there's a lot of stuff and, and uh, things going on around the world. But we have the word, the encouraging word of Yahuwah that will encourage you and I. So we're going to first, we're going to go, and we're gonna, I want to talk about, I want to emphasize some things that maybe, you know, maybe we're all in it. So uh, the first, get your Bible now, okay? Now and we're going to... Uh, Go to the book of uh, Psalms, in Psalms 30. So please, everyone turn there, and let's hear Elder read for us. Sure. Okay? So can you read that? But let's say read from the beginning, and then come to the uh, scriptures that I kind of pointed out that I wanted to emphasize for the people. We can okay? do that. Psalms chapter 30, verse 1, and it begins with, I will extol you, O Yahuwah, for you have lifted me up and have not, light, not let my enemies rejoice over me. Mm. O Yahuwah, my God, I cried out to you and you helped me. O Yahuwah, you brought up my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to Yahuwah, <coughs> you saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holy name. Hallelujah. Do you go through things during the day, during the week, during when you're, you're up at work or wherever you're at? Do you give Him thanks? Do you extol Him? Because you know at this time there's been a lot of crying, a lot of misunderstanding, and we don't know. We need somebody to, uh, to help us. You know, to be there for us and tell the Father, telling him thank you that you were there, that, you know, maybe probably we were at a place where I can't take this no more. What do we do? We, we think we're going to uh, uh, go down to the grave. We're going to die because, uh, you know, you know, either somebody's sick or it's too much. You know, it's too much. I don't know. Maybe you have been going or you are going through that. I want you to raise up your hands during the day when you can, where you're at, and extol them and tell them thank you. 
that I'm standing right here and you didn't let me go down to the grave, that you didn't let me faint, that you helped me, that you were there, that when I was weak, you made me strong in you. You got to remember that you live and move with him, you know him, call on him. You, you call on him wherever you're at. If you're standing on that mountain, if you're standing in that place where you feel strong, you know, it's his favor. It's him that keeps you strong like a mountain. But if you stand and you're looking the other way and you get your eyes, your mind and your heart off him, why? Because there's too much chaos. You know, he's not going to be there. He's going to remove himself. Go your own way. But you know, we got to remember that he is the one. He is the one in your life. After what you go through, that he turns your mourning, your sickness, your weakness into dancing in the morning. Now, somebody can say, how can I dance in the morning if I've been crying all day long? I've been so weak. I've been sick. I'm taking care of her. I'm taking care of him. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm so weak. I can't do it. You know what? It's just morning. We mourn and we cry and this and that. But he said in this word that he's not a liar. Come on. He don't have to repent. He don't have to do all that. And you know what? He says, I'll bring your Morning into dancing. Yes, he said that to all over the world. If you're going through it right now, or if you know someone, your parents, your wife, your husband, whoever it is, come on, sit him down and tell him, look, look what he's going to do for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going he's gonna to put his favor on you. You know, in the beginning of the of that chapter uh, thirty in Psalms, it, he says, "Can you read that one more time, uh, Elder, up to five? Yes. It says in uh, verse one again, "I will extol you, O Yahuwah, for you have lifted me up, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me, O Yahuwah, my God." I cried out to you, and you healed me. Verse 3. O Yahuwah, you brought my soul up from the grave, and you have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Verse 4. Sing praise to Yahuwah, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. Verse 5. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes Hallelujah. in the morning. His favor is for life. And that's what he's given all of us this day. Hallelujah. So I want you to turn with me also to Psalms 96. And we're going to hear the beautiful words that are there to tell him how grateful we are. How, uh, when we're in that place what he's doing to us, for us. Can you read, uh, let's yes. read the whole chapter there. It's not uh, a long, long one. No. So go ahead and read it for us. It okay. says in Psalms 96, verse 1, O oh, sing to Yahuwah a new song. Sing to Yahuwah all the earth. Sing to Yahuwah. Bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Verse 3, declare his glory among the nations, on, his wonders among all the peoples. For Yahuwah is great and greatly to Ooh, be praised. Come on, everybody. He is to be feared above all gods. Oh, yeah. For all gods of the peoples are idols. Come on. But Yahuwah made the heavens. Verse Thank 6, you. Thank you, Yahuwah. honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Hallelujah. Give to Yahuwah, O families of the peoples. Give to Yahuwah glory and strength. Hallelujah. Give to Yahuwah the glory. Do his name. 
Hallelujah. Bring an offering and come into his courts. <clears throat> oh, worship Yahuwah in the beauty of holiness. Yes. And you know, you can do that. You can use that strength that he has given you to praise him, to lift up his hands. Do you know that in, in chapter 13, I believe it's in verse 11, that it says he's turned his what? Can you read that, Elder, for us? Yeah. Verse 11 in, in chapter 30, to remind all you all around the world that he will what? For you have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Ooh, he's putting on you gladness this morning. If you've been sad, if you've been in that place where you can't smile, where you feel weak, and you can't tell him, you know, when I'm weak, Yahuwah, you make me strong. You know what? He's going to give you a garment of what? of gladness. So I want you this day, this morning, this evening, noon, whatever it is, you be glad. Be glad. Put a smile. See, when you're glad and you talk to someone, they want what you have. They want what you have. They want to see your face shine. When, when they see it like that, I want that. So be careful. They say, I want that. Give it to them. Right. <laughs> Because you have a cloak of gladness upon you today. Okay? So I wanted to leave that with you just to encourage you. Encourage you to just be happy today. Be happy. And read those chapters so you can know what he's doing and what you can say to someone else. Okay? Amen. So all you around the world, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, and be glad, okay? Be glad with everybody out there. I know it's chaos out there, and it, you can hear bad, you can hear good. You, you keep walking forward with him. And be glad, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah everyone Hallelujah. out there. So, once again, time to go. I'm going to go now. If you understood what was said today, or if you have any questions or comments, just push the button and send me a, a, a comment, what you want, a thumbs up, whatever it is. Just think house to house DI, okay? So I'm going to leave all of you today. Have a beautiful day out there. Remember, be glad with that smile on your face, okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what we say. Now, before we go, I'm just going to leave you with that encouraging final word for you. Hallelujah. Can you read that for us? I all sure us. can. So for everyone all over the world, all the Ishas, all the Ishas, all them out there. This is for you. Psalms 96 verse 11. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Verse 12. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before Yahuwah. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Hallelujah. With righteousness. Hallelujah. Can you all say that? Hallelujah. Righteousness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So until we see each other again. This is Isha telling you, thank you so much for tuning in. And so uh, I want to leave you now. And I'll say a great shalom, shalom to all of you all over the world.